Medicine is one of the most difficult, fast-paced, yet rewarding paths you can take. You can set out on your own and navigate the student loans, the bureaucracies, and systems that define a typical medical career. Or you can apply for the U.S. Army's Health Professions Scholarship Program and launch yourself into a medical career like no other. Your tuition will be completely covered, and when you graduate med school, you'll learn from and work with some of the most elite minds in medicine. That's the Army difference. Learn more and apply today at GoArmy.com slash HPSP. This is episode 1245 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the host of this show, and welcome. You know, this is uh, one of those scenarios that people try and bluff their way through. Is it a good idea to tell them I already have another offer? You know, it depends. And I go through the scenarios here so that you have an idea of what your choice really is. Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review in Apple Podcasts. And by the way, did you know that this show is the number one show in Apple Podcasts around job search? More episodes than any other show by far. And I know, I've got the number two show. That one has about 800 episodes. I stopped counting on that one. It's about 800 some odd episodes. And this is the number one show at 1,245. Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review. And now let's get going, okay? I had a question from someone. The question is, is it a good idea to tell the interviewer that you have another offer from a rival in order to convey scarcity? You know, if if you're a hiring manager and you hear this, you just want to put a bullet in your head uh, because the notion that there's scarcity is imbecilic. There is no scarcity as far as labor is concerned. There are plenty of people available who do what you do in most geographic areas. And if you want to pressure them, most hiring managers I know are conditioned to respond in this way. So um, what kind of positions involved? Okay. And um, what sort of money, money are they talking about with you? And um, why do you find this interesting? And if you find this job so interesting, why are you here? And at the end of the day, it's probably a bluff that you can't pull off because they'll pick apart your scenario sufficiently to make you confess that the other job isn't that good and that you should be interviewing with them. And they don't view it as scarcity. They're there with the bewilderment particularly if it's a first interview. Like I have the idea from this questioner that this is an early stage scenario. Now, I want to say it's different later on in the process where you've had a few interviews and you now state, you know, I have another offer. Now, I want you to be clear. I want to be clear with you that if you don't have another offer, you try this tactic, at the end of the day, they may call your bluff and say, you know, we're not ready to make a choice. So, you know, if you're telling us that you're going to take this other job, we wish you well. Uh, If it doesn't work out, reach out to us and we have another position. We can continue the conversation. You see, there's, there's no real leverage that you have if you think you can pull this off without actually having another offer. See, if you have another offer, then you can say, look, you know, I have this other offer. I'm going to need to respond to you by such and such date and time. When they ask the questions, you can be forthright about it. Hear from them the nature of the position that's involved in greater detail more quickly and you know, get a sense of, of the employer of what their timeline is. In doing so, you know, their, you know, what you've done is, is balance the power differential. Without that other offer, it, it's a joke because at the end of the day, you know, you're holding, uh, I'm going to use a card game uh, s- scenario. You don't have an ace in the hole uh, to pull out. Basically, you have a deuce. And as a result, you wind up being left holding the bag. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, here are a few ways that I could help you. First of all, you can hire me to coach you throughout your job search in every way imaginable. That includes a resume and or LinkedIn profile critique, 
interview preparation, helping you with a salary negotiation and or networking, answering your questions about your job search, giving you advice about a decision you have to make once you have the offer. We can work in 30 minute or one hour increments throughout your search. And the easiest way to talk with me about it is by connecting with me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show. I just like knowing that I'm helping folks. And once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll do a free discovery conversation with one another. If you're not interested in coaching and you just have a few questions, the easiest way to do it is by reaching out to me through the Magnify app for iOS. That's Magnify with an I. Or if you don't have an iOS device, if you're an Android user or you just want to call me on the phone, do it through PrestoExperts.com where I'm a career coach and job search expert. For those of you who've been listening to the show, you know that you know, I always talk about job search coaching HQ.com. And recently we've been changing the focus of the site to really emphasize interviewing and answering tough interview questions. If you join, you'll have access to curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's designed to help you find work more quickly, as well as videos and podcasts and other information. Again, an emphasize on interviewing and answering tough interview questions. You can also take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and get two months for free instead of the one month that the site offers. And the last thing I want to mention to you is schedule me for lunch. I do it at 1230 most days. And for now, I'm making myself available Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for lunch at 1230 Eastern time. We'll meet over Zoom and be able to see one another. You bring something to eat or if it's early for you, you know, very simply bring some coffee with you. We'll sit and talk for 45 minutes. I'll answer your questions. That's less for $175. That's less than what I charge for comparable time for my coaching. So again, reach out to me through LinkedIn and we'll schedule a time for lunch. Have a great day. Take care. Earning an executive MBA at Georgetown isn't the path of least resistance, but it does come with the greatest reward. Benefit from our strong alumni network, renowned faculty, D.C. location, and global residencies. Get started at choosegeorgetown.com slash EMBA.